Hello everybody, it's uh, Hippidippin here, and today we're going to be... Uh, I just wanted to show you guys a, uh, a UU battle that I had, and it was really, really good. I enjoyed it. Um, ended up being like 37 turns long. Uh, it did involve me sacking a few Pokemon, not gonna lie. So let's go ahead and watch the replay. Uh, he is gonna lead off with his Mad Outlaw, the uh, Hitmontop, who is actually a very good Pokemon, now that I have learned. Um, but yeah, he's great. Intimidate, he's just a good wall altogether. So anyway, he brings in his um, Joltik here, and I uh, just went for the Will-O-Wisp. It was safe for pretty much anything that wanted to come in, and... Um, I knew I could take a Thunder and then follow it up with a uh, Shadow Sneak, so that'd be kind of cool. Uh, excuse me, once again he brings out his Mad Outlaw, and uh, I'm forced to go out into Night here. But he ends up bringing out this Absol, and I totally forgot that uh, this thing had Magic Bounce, and it bounced my Taunt back, so now I cannot defog all of these, um... I can't defog uh, the Sticky Web, so... That is going to be up for uh, just a little bit, and uh, I expected him to go for Sucker Punch here. I bring in Crunch, and uh, he again brings out Mad Outlaw, which is going to be able to eat that freaking superpower just right up. But even after an Intimidate, that still does, uh, you know, like 22% to a um, Hitmontop, so that's not bad. He does bring out his um, Vaporeon here, gets the burn on the first turn. Of course, when have I ever faced a Pokemon that uses Scald and not gotten a burn? Um, honestly, they should really rebuff that to, that, to like, um, I don't know, um, like a 10% chance to burn. Because right now, 30 is absolutely crazy. These Water-type Pokemon are literally abusing it. And um, it, it just sucks, you know? But anyway, uh, I bring him really close to uh, death here, and it gets kind of stally. I mean, really stally. He uh, he just keeps wishing and protecting, and uh, it's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. But um, he does he does reveal this heal bell, which is very disappointing for me, uh, just because I'm not going to be able to um, uh, not going to be able to continuously burn this thing and keep it burned. Uh, so that is a bummer. But he goes for the heal bell again, and my hexes do nothing to it. It does 11%, so that's kind of disappointing. It brings me very close to death there with a uh, skull, but I am able to live it and uh, get off a pain split. I mean, literally, this thing is just terrible. Absolutely terrible. Kills me with a skull, that's fine. I uh, bring in um, Crobat, and I defog away the sticky web, so that is good. He ends up killing me with a skull, though, so that is very, very bad. I bring out Bruce, and I attempted to kill this thing with a crunch, and I get my speed up, which is nice. But then he brings out uh, Outlaw, and uh, Outlaw can handle a crunch. That's the bad part. Uh, and I definitely do not want to stay in here, so I end up going out to Steadfast. He goes for a fake out, doesn't do anything at all, and I'm able to get a Drain Punch off. And see how much HP I recover off of that? That's crazy. Anyway, he ends up going for a knockoff here, boosting my attack, and I'm able to, in return, kill him with my own knockoff. So Sonic is going down. He brings out Mad Outlaw again, goes for the fake out, and I'm able to live it. And uh, he actually reveals the Sucker Punch here, which is very cool, very cool. Uh, I bring out No, and he decides to switch. I, uh, basically, the three Pokemon that are left on his team are all weak to Dazzling Gleam, so I just kind of kept doing that. And, uh, you know, he switched in Absol, so Absol was really one of the keys to victory, and uh, he did not preserve it, so that's kind of a bummer on his part. Um, he, ends, he ends up killing me with his Outlaw, um, <laughs> it's kind of sucky, but uh, this thing just eats up a waterfall, does less than 41%, and he's able to kill me with a high jump kick, of course, but I bring out Crunch, and a Stone Edge will definitely kill a Mad Outlaw. And I get the attack raise, and he switches into his boom box here, and I am able to kill it with a stone edge. So that was the game, and uh, yeah, it was very cool. My rating goes up to 1301. It kind of, kind of goes like waves. You know, sometimes I do good, sometimes I don't. But you know, it's a, it's a fun game, you guys. Ought to, if you aren't playing it, you ought to. I know I have some of my friends, and they ought to watch this. I mean, Pokemon Showdown is really, really fun. And if you are, and you, if you haven't played, you ought to. I mean, it's really good, really good. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm Hippidippin, and if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, a rating, or comment. 
And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, thanks for watching. Goodbye.